Hi guys, this is the Dudios Free Dots True Wireless Headphones. They have an amazing IPX7 water and sweatproof rating, a massive 16 hours total playtime with ergonomic and lightweight design that fits comfortably and stays secured in your ear canals and so much more. You get all of this for just under $50 in Australia and around $26 if you're in the US which makes it perfect for the budget headphones category. Now is this thing worth it? Well let's find out by seeing what you get out of the box. First thing that comes out are the charging case which is made out of plastic and does feel really really light. Then you get the two earbuds which I am not gonna lie looks extremely good and if you don't like the original airpods type design then you will love these. Then inside another small box there is a small micro USB cable for recharging the Dudio's free dots and finally there are two more pairs of ear tips which are in small and large size and the medium ones is already attached on the free dots. Last but not least, there is a small booklet with warranty and service info and an user manual which has a lot of useful information if you are just getting started. To connect for the first time, you need to place the headphones in the charging case and then open the flap of the case and then just go through your normal procedure of your phone when you want to connect to a new Bluetooth device. The Dudio's free dots were found immediately and connected to my phone but as soon as I put them on my ears, I found that only one of the earbuds were connected. Now however inconvenient it might be, there is a way to fix this and that is by resetting the free dots again. Just follow the instructions on the user manual properly and you will be done in no time. For me, it started working immediately after reconnecting but if it does not work for you, you can always return it via Amazon. Other than that, I had a pretty solid experience with the Dudio's free dots because some of the features like the IPX7 waterproof rating are not even available on some higher end headphones. They could be perfect for a run on a rainy day or even a very sweaty gym session and they fit quite nicely in the ear canals too. I found it to be very very stable and secure, it does not just randomly fall off of your ears which is good and also provides a very good seal that helps to add some passive noise cancellation as it is able to block a lot of external low pitch noises. The battery life is modest as well with 4 hours on the earbuds and with the charging case you can recharge them 3 more times which should be enough for a whole day or more depends on how you really use it. But the best part is that it recharges pretty quickly. The case takes only 2 hours to recharge fully while the earbuds on the case only needs 1.5 hours. The free dots also has a multi-function button on each of the earbuds that lets you do a variety of things like play and pause music or skip a track forward or backward or answer or reject calls etc. Now this is a physical button which is much better than having touch sensors because most of the times what I have seen in my experience is that the touchpads on these cheap headphones are not accurate which can be very frustrating. On the other hand, the physical MFB on the free dots have a satisfying click and appropriate sound and voice guidance to let you know what you're doing. Okay, now let's discuss the sound quality. On very high volume, the sound and the bass does not crack on the free dots which is excellent. The bass is a little mellow for my liking though and the hi-hats or treble side of things are not that sharp. But the voice and the mids however are a lot more clearer and has a much better presence overall. So watching movies and listening to podcasts are really enjoyable with this pair. And on lower volume levels, it is able to keep the same sound stage and fidelity of the higher volumes which is by far its best quality. I also did not run into any connectivity issue or lags while playing games on this either. So overall, I will say that the sound quality is a big win on this one. You can also use one earpod while the other one is resting on the charging case to take phone calls or even listening to music. But just be aware that the microphone on the free dots work very very well. Actually it works better than well. So it picks up everything in your surrounding and given that it does not have noise cancellation, so taking a call on a busy place with the Dudio's free dots can be a little bit challenging. But but overall, I really liked what I saw. Yeah, there are occasions when you might have to reset the earbuds once in a while to get proper connectivity, but it really is just a two-step process which is easy. I think it looks great and has a very good and secure fit which coupled with the IPX7 waterproof rating really make them a very good buy for an outgoing person. The sound quality is also very enjoyable for a year but that costs only 26 US dollars. So I would say that this is a very good option if you're on a budget or if you're looking to buy a gift for someone. And guys, please consider subscribing to my channel if you have not done it already. One small click from you helps my videos and my channel grow a lot more on YouTube which does go a long way in supporting a small time YouTuber like me. So thanks again for watching. This is Nafi signing off till next week. Peace.